So if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I changed to the Workman keyboard layout after using QWERTY for all my life. Uh, I first jumped into Workman as an alternative and it was, you know, it seemed great so far. I got up to 100 words per minute on it and I was pretty pleased with it, except for as I was sort of started typing at those kinds of speeds more frequently, I really felt that my left uh, ring finger was doing a lot of repetitive, awkward motion. It sort of felt awkward and I looked into it and was trying to figure out why and it turns out that the Workman keyboard layout has actually a pretty poor score for same finger bigrams and I, now when I read their very compelling website as to why Workman was a good layout to choose I, I missed this kind of acknowledgement of this which they do they do acknowledge um, but they seem to downplay the importance of this and for me I don't think that should be downplayed I think it's actually quite a serious problem it does feel very awkward to use the same finger on two consecutive keys you, you know it's not something you want to do if you're hitting a key you don't want to then have to move that same finger to another key that's the kind of thing that you do really want to avoid if you're looking at a, an efficient comfortable layout so after Workman you've got two other big players in the alternative keyboard layouts you've got Colmac and you've got Dvorak and Dvorak looks like it's a pretty hard layout to learn it looks like there's quite a lot of changes from QWERTY um, and obviously all the punctuations in the different place as well whereas Colmac kind of strives to keep the difference minimal you've got all your main keyboard shortcuts like X, C and V in the same place and the punctuation's in the same place as well but it still brings all the main keys onto the home row and Colmac DH actually improves on Colmac in that it reduces the inner column use as well which is kind of what Workman set out to achieve as well so Colmac DH I think is actually a really good option if you're learning a new keyboard layout now um, and that's the choice I made when I, I gave up on Workman and changed over to Colmac DH so Colmac seems to specifically be set out to avoid using same finger bigrams and um, it also has a focus on roles, which are two very appealing concepts. So it would fix the problem with Workman, but also has this idea that you are sort of doing this with your fingers as you're typing a lot more than random kind of pecking around. And that sounds appealing too. So that was the decision I made and I jumped in at that point. So on this channel, I make films looking at improving efficiency in all areas, not just working with computers through design, usability and workflow. Um, so there's all kinds of interesting things I'm looking at. So do hit the subscribe button and come along for the journey. So the positivity towards the Colmac layout from the community on the Discord group in particular uh, was very encouraging. And this idea of using roles, the whole thing seemed like a really good uh, sort of antidote to the problems I'd had with Workman. Uh, I'm really pleased I switched.